Hi there, here we are again on Google Cloud. I'm going to check my project. In this case, I already have um, my cluster. I'm going to just check my cluster. Okay, I have a shopping cluster. Okay. Now I'm going to connect in that. So I have to run gcloud container clusters, get credentials, the name of my cluster. They can show you also here dash dash the zone so now I can run kubernetes commands kubectl get secrets for example just that default one kubectl cluster info all right now I gotta check how many nodes I have here. Three nodes, right? If you go to workloads, or right, it shows here cluster side workloads. Nothing deployed. Ingress. Now in this case, it should go to compute engine. And check my VM instance, the template, and so groups. Now I'm going to deploy project all right so now we're going to download the scaffold e scaffold e for running that deploy with e scaffold that's a uh, way if you want to deploy many microservices each one has their own yaml file it's going to be faster the best way now I'm going to run my scaffold, okay. Once again, I'm going to check my pods, have more pod, all those pods running. Okay, let's go back to workloads. All pods were deployed with scaffold. I'm going to show this file, cat scaffold yaml, is a way to deploy, it's going to get all files under Kubernetes manifest and are going to deploy. And I'm going deep into scaffold, just going to give you the idea how to deploy many microservices on, on the same deploy with a standard deployment file which is the scaffold. All pods are getting there. And I'm going to export uh, external IP of my get service web front end external. Okay, front end. I have a front end here. I have the front end external service. Just export it. And I'm going to confirm that running with cheer. Yeah, 200. It's running. Now I'm going to set up to use my setup. LS, I'm going to run this setup file. I'm going to just show how it is. My setup file is going to run. Call up procedure is going to get my source code and put into cloud repository which is gonna show you later so let's run that before that I'm going to show here also all the pods VM instances that it's created since you just create a cluster you have three of that this GKE all those GKEs were created when I created the cluster To my container registry, maybe I have some Docker images there. No, no, I didn't deploy any, didn't push any image to here, but again to repository. It's, maybe it's just repository. It's outside the cloud. Maybe from here I can get the
No, switch should. Cloud report. Mm, yeah, I gotta get this URL somewhere. Whatever, I just deployed the entire application in all those microservices using the scaffold. That's pretty simple. And now we're going to stick driver. Okay, let's go into stick driver. Monitoring. Let's open a new tab. Just checking something here. Ah, just found the repositories, all those repositories of mine. Yeah, here's the repository that my setup file, once I ran that, it forward it makes a push into this repository. So here I can check all those things I showed you here. For example, I have my scaffold YAML. Okay, that's going to list all the services. And that's the easiest way it's going to deploy all those YAML files. So everything is, is going to run all these YAML files that are under Kubernetes manifest YAML, you can see here. So each one has a configuration, like points to, um, let's see, I uh, had service C, like a deployment file and a service one. It's a kind of cluster IP, which cannot be seen outside of the cluster, just internally to the microservice internally. It's the, there is some um, info here also. For this is an example of the YAML. Here we have an email service, which is deployment. Okay, it's also cluster IP. It is a payment service. Let's see also it's a deployment with the service. All those cluster IP cannot be seen outside the cluster. Let's see the front end one. Front end this is a deployment. Here's a load balancer, so it's outside the GCP. So here's seeing all those YAMLs, all all those services inside. So it, this Front end YAML here reference all the all the other web services. Uh, so a configuration for Istio for a service mesh, but not running there in this case. So uh, we just got out to our repositories, but right now we're going to stake driver. We're gonna use classic. I was on testing opt out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what we can do now let Let's just wait it be prepared. Maybe it's gonna be fast enough. Now I want to see here my resources. Kubernetes engine. You can see all those nodes. All those spots that our services sell, like shipping service, like you know, country I'm gonna write service. It's gonna see everything that was created by code at service, etc. So you can you have information on all those things running here. It's very good designed. Yeah, stick driver. Really good. So this is the end of the lab today. I just run a Kubernetes and show I'd show you here just uh, the connection with already has a established stick driver monitoring. With that, you just enable that when you create a cluster. You just have to be, by default it's already set, so you don't have to worry about. And in this case, I just run the ISCA fold, which is a way of running uh, for deploying 
the microservices in an easy way. All those YAML files are deployment files. You have your service files. You have uh, load balancers, right? config maps, secrets, all those things like Kubernetes as as resources. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.